So now I have a craft that we can do that shows us the life cycle of a butterfly that's kind of fun. You're gonna need your lab sheet that says life cycle of a butterfly, some crayons, and then we have a little bag of pasta for each one of you. So the very first thing, let's do our coloring first. Let's make in the first box, everybody put your finger on the first box where it says egg or wavel. And we're gonna draw a leaf for our, our eggs. So get your crayon and draw a leaf. Doesn't have to look like mine. You could draw a different shape leaf or however you'd like yours to look. So we're gonna color our leaf in. that and then when we're using our glue we're going to use our glue next you just need the tiniest bit of glue because otherwise our things will disappear and float off our paper so you're going to put a few dots of glue on your leaf and you're going to take your little tiny pastas put them on the leaf and these are going to be our eggs so you should have your leaf just a little bit of glue and our, and our eggs. So the very first part of our life cycle, we have our eggs. So now our eggs are gonna hatch. They're gonna be very hungry. Put your finger in the second box where it says caterpillar, aruga, and we're gonna draw another leaf. It can look the same, it can look different. It's your choice. We're gonna draw another leaf. And on this one, we're gonna put glue again. And in this one, you're gonna get your pasta that looks like a corkscrew, kind of like this, and this is gonna be our caterpillar. So we have our eggs, we have our caterpillar, and now put your finger in the third box. Our caterpillar's eaten lots of leaves, it's very hungry, or it's not very hungry anymore, it's very full. So now it's going to move to a branch or a stick on our plant. So let's draw a stick for our, for our branch, however you want it to be, for our, our chrysalis. You're going to get your glue again. Put just the tiniest bit of glue. And our caterpillar is going to form its chrysalis. And take a little rest while it continues to transform. So we have our egg, we have our caterpillar, we have our chrysalis. Now put your finger in the last box, our butterfly, our mariposa. Let's draw a flower for our butterfly. Or if there's something else you'd rather draw for your butterfly, that's fine too. So I'm gonna draw a flower. Give it some pollen in the middle. Pollen is very important. There we go, there's my little flower. So you're gonna get your glue one more time. I'm gonna have my butterfly near the flower. You can have it on the flower, near the flower. So there, now the butterfly is near the flower. Remember how I just said I put pollen in the middle? Pollen is what helps us make new flowers, and our butterfly is called a pollinator. When it lands on the butterfly, it gets the pollen on its feet and everything and travels it to the next flower. But that's another lesson we'll do another day. So here's our life cycle of a butterfly. You can take it home and show your family and show them that it starts with an egg, a caterpillar, a chrysalis, and finally then we have our butterfly. And there you go. Thanks.